This is the Sunday of praising God or being happy. Lift your heart to God and praise God and worship God. Glory be to you, Lord.
If you are happy in the house of the Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. It is your time to dance for the Lord. This is the house of the Lord. Hallelujah.
We shall sing Hosanna. Matthew chapter 4, verses 19. He said unto them, Follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Matthew 8 verses 22 Jesus said unto him Follow me and let the dead bury their dead Hallelujah There's an old song that used to be sung I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus and this morning I was thinking about a small car that is normally at the airport called Follow Me. There's a small car called Follow Me. And when, when, when the plane leaves the, the, the runway and is getting to the taxiway, there's a small car that leads it to the apron where it will park. And one day, maybe all of us or most of us, we said, I have decided to follow Jesus. And Jesus said, follow me, and when you follow me, I will make you a fisher of men. What happened between the following and the making? I want you to pray and say, Lord, any obstacle between me following you and you making me official of men, Lord, let that obstacle be removed today in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, remove that obstacle that makes me not to follow you. The obstacle between me and following you and becoming what you want me to be, remove it today in the name of Jesus. I pray that Lord that you remove every obstacle in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray. One of the obstacles is the obstacle called I am busy obstacle. And that obstacle makes God not to make us what he wants us to be. Sometimes you say, I have somebody dead in my home. I have this guide of business I'm doing. I'm not available. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Say, Father, have mercy on me. I have had so many excuses. Lord, have mercy on me today. Have mercy on me, O oh God, today. Oh Lord, I have raised obstacles before myself. I have become my own obstacle, or oh, my own stubborn block, O oh God, from following you. Have mercy on me, O oh God. 
Have mercy on me today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sometimes you go to follow the Lord. The Lord is making you official of men, but you meet obstacles of opposition. Say, Father, give me, give me the grace to rejoice in rejection, the grace to rejoice in obstacle. Give me the grace to move forward, oh God. Give me the grace to move forward, the grace to move forward. Give me the grace to scale the mountain. Give me the grace to go over the fire. Give me the grace to go over the fire. Give me the grace to risk and do it, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Question before we get to that session of offering and tithes. I have a question for you, a rhetoric question you don't have to answer me. When did you last tell somebody that Jesus loves them? When did you last tell a person that Jesus loves you? Today, tell, go and tell somebody Jesus loves you. Not here in church. No, 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 not in the church. No. This one of inside the church, no. Out there. Out there. Good and the bad ones. Go and tell them this way. Ask them, has somebody told you today that Jesus loves you? Say, you look lovely. Even the one that looks so drunk and so mad, say, you look so lovely. You are made in God's image. God loves you. So I came today as 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 that person, the subject to tell you that Jesus loves you so much today. Do it once, do it twice, do it and see whether there will be an empty seat here. They will say there is a church here called the Church of Jesus Loves You. I want to go see this Church of Jesus Loves You. Wow, we have reached another good time of giving unto the Lord. Giving our offerings and giving our tithes unto the Lord. In a few minutes, uh, in a few seconds, uh, the, the ways that we, okay, they're already there. They're already there. You can see on the screens the way you can participate in giving. Hallelujah. You can Hallelujah. give through to the banks. You can give through the momo. You can give in front here. Now, if you gave your offering over the week, or you, uh, your, 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 your tithe over the week, or you have your tithe today with, your, uh, with you, and you want to bring it to the Lord, please come in front. Do quickly, we want to pray for you. If you gave your tithe or you have your tithe with you, please come. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise because of the tithers. We pray that your word will come to pass in their lives, that you open, Lord, the windows of heaven. And give them a blessing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Walk in the blessings of the Lord in Jesus' name. You are there, you have your offering. 
We are going to use the same channel that we normally use to give our offerings. And the Lord will bless you. Over to the choir as we give our offerings. Over to the choir as we give our May the Lord God increase you. In Jesus' name. Over to choir. Korari. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are protected by God. Us has left us, but we are alive, we are here. Oh, 
Mulher e comer Mulher e comer Se por um ano é igual Na desalva de comer na ué Comerá Pastor declared this month is a month of high favor. It is for you and it's for me in Jesus' name. No matter what the devil does, this month you will not escape favor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This morning we have in our midst. Please take a seat for a moment. A very wonderful friend, long, long, long time friend. <laughs> Thank you, choir. Choir, don't go yet. Just don't go. Don't go. Wait a moment. Let, let's bring up the minister. Amen. And by his grace, God has helped him, you know, through these years, and he's still been serving God. One of our, our pastors, you know, one thing that always touches my heart about him, you know, when people say, I have, I have a job, I can't serve God, I am busy, you know, I've heard that many times as a pastor. People say, ah, no, my job will not allow me. But uh, this is somebody I know that he, he used his job to serve God. And I know what I'm saying. Uh, Not only in his station where he is, you know, he's based, he, wherever he is posted, he is serving God. He appears there. In fact, yesterday he came into Rwanda last I think yesterday, and today he's in church, even though the roads are closed, that you know, you say, ah, let me just sleep in my hotel room, but he's in church this morning. 
I want you to know that is a grace. That's a grace. That's an anointing. And we appreciate it. Thank you, Pastor. All the years been there. We long. I'm saying about 20 years now. So right from Central Parish in Abuja. Okay, don't worry about that. <laughs> Praise God. So this morning is the vessel God is going to use. To bless us. His name is Pastor Niyi Ojualakwe. He's the court, zona coordinator. Zona coordinator in charge of RCCG Zone 12 in New York, USA. <laughs> Amazina yangu yombe sse ni koordinator muri New York hario ursengerwa RCCG. Thank you very much, man. God bless you, man. Akose chane imani wa mojisha. Can you help me with this with the song that uh, our pastor introduced us with? I have decided. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Father, we want to say thank you. Father, we bless your holy name, O Lord. Thank you for this grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for helping us this far. You are the one that has brought us this far. We owe everything unto you. Father, we do not take your blessings for granted. Thank you for the privilege, O Lord. Thank you for the honor. Father, please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, even as we go into your word, Father, we pray that the light that is in your word, Father, let it come into our lives. And let every darkness in our lives depart. In the name of Jesus At the end of the day, Father, we pray let your people be blessed and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Can I hear somebody shout hallelujah? Let us show that we appreciate God once more. Shout hallelujah. I'm sure you can do better than that. Let us do it once more. Shout hallelujah. Bless you. You can go and sit down. I bless God for this um, wonderful opportunity, for this grace. Um, and I thank uh, mommy, I thank the pastorate for giving me this uh, privilege. I do not take it for granted at all. Thank you very, 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 very much. Um, you people in this um, in this church, you are very, very, very fortunate. You are very, very, very blessed to have our daddy and our mommy in this place who are as pastors over us because I know them from way back. If you talk about people of prayer and people of faith, 
the Lord very much for the lives of our pastor and pastor misses so very much. There are people that we respect a lot, a lot. And we bless the Lord God for their lives. Okay. Praise the Lord. We have a very short time, and I will just share with us something um, very, very important because the month has been declared the month of eye favor. I pray for you that you will find eye favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Tufite igihe gito cyane ariko ngiye kwasangiza namwe ijambo rigufi kandi ry'ingenzi muko uku kwezi kwatuwe kwa ari ukwezi kw'igikundiro girenze ndabasengera ngo igikundiro cy'Imana kibabeho mu izina rya Yesu Everywhere you go this month favor will follow you in Amen. the name of Jesus Aho sajya hose ubu no kukwezi igikundiro kizajyana nawe And I pray for you Whichever way you appear, it will favor you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your appearance will favor you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your color will provoke favor for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your smile will provoke favor for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The way you talk will make people to favor you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The way you sit down, the way you stand up, the way you walk, it will provoke favor for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Favor will go before you and favor will come behind you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For everyone that will say a loud amen, I pray for you that whatever you do, you will find favor in the Amen. name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because once the man of God declares it, answer comes upon it automatically. As it has been declared that it will be your month of eye favor, you will indeed have eye favor to testify about in the name of the Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. And so I'll be sharing with us briefly about what I've titled the Master Code. And without any doubt, I just want to let us know from the word, from the word good that the master code of life, the master code of favor is the word of God. What I'm going to be sharing with you, you have heard before. I'm just here to remind you things that you have heard before, and I pray that you'll be able to understand and do the word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you know, in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. The Bible says that if thou put the brethren, in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. Niwebutsa bene data ibyo uzaba ubaye umugabura mwiza w'ibya Kristo Yesu utunzwe n'amagambo yo kwizera n'inyigisho nziza wakurikije. So my job is simple here today. I'm just coming to put you in remembrance of certain things that you have heard before. Akazi, and I pray that you will do them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. 
The word of God is very important because life is a mystery. What you know on your own is only yesterday and today. You don't even know what is going to come in in the next one hour. But we have somebody that knows even the hand from the beginning. He knows everything that will happen to you this next week. He knows what will happen to you this next month and this next year. Every, every day of the year, he knows what will happen. He is the Lord God Almighty. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. Time will fail me to, time will not permit me to go into this, but I want to first start by telling us in Matthew chapter 13, Jesus told a number of parables. In Matthew chapter 13. Matthew yes. chapter 13. Yes. And when he told them the parables, he did not tell them the meaning. 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 He w- so he went and he came back and his disciples came to tell him that how do you tell people parables and you don't tell them the meaning? He said, because there is after Jesus, after they had told Jesus that, oh, he told them parables and he did not tell them the meaning, he answered, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance, but whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that which he hath. Therefore, I speak to them in parables, because they Seeing, see not. And the hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. So Jesus was telling them that there are mysteries in this world. And those mysteries are in the world that he has told them, but that under normal circumstances, with normal here, people will not really understand. So what he did was, at the end of it, he now called them by the side. He now told them, because you belong to me, I will tell you the mysteries of this world. So at the end of the day, it is those of you that have come near to God today that are going to hear these particular mysteries that are going to be shared. And I pray to the Lord God Almighty that the, the, the benefits of these mysteries will benefit you all through this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. The implication of the mystery of coming before God in the morning to worship him it will give you favor this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to share a story with us that is in Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. Matthew chapter 7, 24 to 27. Matthew chapter 7, 24 to 27. 
Jesus speaking. He was telling them also another parable. And he made this parable very, very clear. He said it very, very clearly. So I'm going to read it for us to understand shortly. Yesu yararimo ababwira uyu mugani arawubasobanurira tugiye kusoma kugira ngo muwumve So in in that passage the Bible says that therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock Verse 25 says and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it felt not, it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Verse 26 now says, And everyone that heareth these things of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. E nuko umuntu wese wumva aya magambo yanjye akayakomeza azaba nk'umunyabwenge ubatsinzuye ku rutare imvura iragwa imivu iratemba umuyaga urahuha byose byikubita kuri yonzu ni yagwa kuko yari shinzwe ku rutare kandi umuntu wese wumva aya magambo yanjye nayakomeze azaba ari nk'umupapa wubatse inzu ye ku musenyi imvura iragwa imivu iratemba umuyagura huha byose byikubita kuri yo nziragwa kandi kugwa kwayo kwabaye kunini Jesus described two sets of people in that passage he talked about those who hear the word he called them that they would hear the word and doeth them he called them the wise he also talked about those who hear the word and does not do them he said they are like a foolish people Yesu yasobanuye abantu babiri muri uyu mugani aravuga ati hari uwumva ijambo ry'Imana akari kurikiza uwo no munyabwenge hari nondi wumva ijambo ry'Imana nari kurikize uwo no mufafa it means that whatever you hear whatever you do with the word that you hear is of extreme importance it is what will make you either wise or to be like a foolish person no kuvuga ngo ijambo wumvise uburyo urikoresha ningenzi cyane ushobora kurikoresha kugira umumaro cyangwa ukarikoresha nurikoreshe the two sets of people that Jesus was talking about there they have several things in common number 1 they heard the word aba bantu twamaze kubona hari ya Yesu yavuze bari bafite ibintu bahuriyeho icyambere bose bumvise ijambo ry'Imana the difference is what they do with the word. One does it, one hears it and does not do it. Icyambere ni uburyo bakoresha iryo jambo iyo baryumvise. Umwe ararikoresha akarishyira mu bikorwa undi nagira icyakora. You so you see in that parable Jesus was describing said that they built a house. That by hearing the word what you are doing is that you are building a house. Uh, muri uwo mugani Yesu yabigereranyije no kubaka inzu aravuga ati iyo wumva ijambo uba urimo wubaka inzu So as you have come here today as you are hearing the word you have done a good thing because it's like you are building a house already Muko waje hano wakoze ikintu kiza cyane kuko uri muri ubaka inzu and I pray for you that your, that your building of a house will stand the test of time in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. That you are here in the presence of God today shows that you are a man, you are a woman of vision, and you are a woman, you are a man and a woman of accomplishment. So I thank God for your life that you are here present today and I pray once more that your presence in the presence of the Lord today will provoke you favor even as we go into this month in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Ndagusengera kuba uri hano mu kubaho kw'Imana uyu munsi uko kubaho kwawe kuba wateye inambwe ukazi uyu munsi bifungura igikundiro cy'Imana ku buzima bwa umwe izina rya Yesu But in telling that story in that parable Jesus said that the rains came the floods came Can I therefore tell you something no matter what you do either you are a wise man or you are a foolish man there will still be a day that rains 
a flood will come. Ndashaka kubabwira muri iyo mugani twabonye twabonye yuko muri cyo gihe abubatse amazu bombi imvura yaraguye imivira iratemba umuyagura huha mu byo ukora byose ugomba guhura nibyo bintu Jesus described three main elements he talked about the rains he talked about the floods and he talked about the wind that is a it that is a fact of life that will happen to anybody whether you are wise or you are foolish. Dero hano hari ibintu bitatu yavuze yavuze imvura imvura avuga imivu avuga numuyaga. Ibyo bintu ko ari bitatu mu buzima bwawe wabo uri umunyabwenge cyangwa uri umupfafa uzahura nabyo. Every one of us we know that life is tough. And no matter what, no matter how much you pray, no matter how much you fast, no matter how much you do this or that, no matter how powerful you are, someday some things will come and you will be wondering that, why is this happening to me? Rimwe na rimwe wabusenga wabukukiranuka wabugirute hari ibintu bikuzaho mu buzima bwawe ugatangira ukibaza uti mana kuki ibi bintu ndimo mura nabyo. It is not because it's a demon that is causing it. Either you are wise or you are foolish. It is natural to life that rains will come rains will not just come it will beat upon the house according to what jesus said eh nago bisobane ngo urumunyabwenge cyangwa urumupfapa ni ibintu kamere imvurizagwa imirabizaza ariko kandi ibyo bintu nago bizaza gusa ahubwo bizagwa hejuru ya yanzu wubatse it is not because of a demon or an enemy or the devil it is because you are alive that's why you see rain that's why you see flood. Niyo mpamvu nabwo ari kuvuga ngo numwanzi cyangwa ni satani ahubwo nukuri muzima niyo mpamvu reba iyo miraba niyo mvura. James chapter 1 verse 3. Yakobo. In James chapter 1 verse 3. I have a few scriptures to give you comfort if in case anybody here is suffering or you are experiencing that rain or a flood or a wind that is blowing against you. Yakobo igice cya mbere umurongo wa gatatu James chapter 1 verse 3 says knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience I pray for you then need trying of the faith that you are seeing today it will work patience for you in the name of Jesus Christ Umenye yuko kugeragezwa ko kwizera kwanyu gutera kwihangana bisobanukirwa ngo kugeragezwa kwawe gutuma ushobora kugira kwihangana Romans chapter 5 verses 3 to 4 even takes it a bit further. Romans chapter 5 verses 3 to 4. Abaroma ibice bitanu umurongo wa gatatu kugeza kuwa kane. And it says and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulations worketh patience. And patience experience and experience hope. Ariko sibyo byonyine kuzabo ariko sibyo byonyine ahubwo twishimira no mu makuba yacu kuko tuzi yuko amakuba atera kwihangana kandi kwihangana kugatera kunesha ibitugerageza uko ni uko kunesha kugagutera ibyiringiro ibyiringiro And I have a prayer for you that is in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 Gufitiye isengesho Petero wa mbere ibice bitano umurongo wa 10 He says but the God of all grace who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that ye have suffered a while make you perfect establish you strengthen you and settle you in the name of Jesus Christ Kandi imana igira ubuntu bwose yabahamagariye ubwiza bwayo buhoraho buri muri Kristo izabatunganya rwose ubwayo ibakomeze bibongerere imbaraga ni mumara kubabazwa akanya gatoya I want to go back to the initial parable that I told us about the that Jesus said about the person building his house on his stone is um, the, that the person is wise is like is like the person is wise because he has built his house on a on a solid foundation so it means that the location of the house that you are building matters a lot Ndashaka ngo dusubire ku mugani twatangiriyeho 
w'amazu w'abantu bubatsa amazabiri umwe akayubaka ku rutare nundi akayubaka ku musenyi rero umunyabwenge yayibatse ku rusenyi bisobanura ngo aho ushyira inzu yawe cyangwa aho ubaka inzu yawe ningenzi cyane I pray for you that your lo the location of your building will be on Jesus Christ the solid rock in the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ Ndasenga ngo aho uzubaka inyobako yawe izaba kuri Kristo Yesu ari we rutare rukomeye so what was Jesus saying? Jesus was saying, number one, you need to hear the word. And number two, you need to do the word of God. Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Kujirango uwane uko ubikurikiza ibyanditswe byose niho uzahirwa mu nzira zawe ukabashishwa byose The long and short of my message is a very simple one it is that I know that you hear a lot of the word of God in this house what I'm just asking you to do is do the word that you hear Njewe niyo mpamvu nababwiye ngo ijambo ubutumwa bwanje buroroshye cyane iyi munsi no kuvuga ngo ndabizi neza yuko mwumva ijambo ry'Imana ryinshi hano ariko icyo naje kubakangurira no kuvuga ngo ijambo ryose wumvise rishyire mu bikorwa It's a very very simple thing whatever you hear per time that is God speaking to you you need to do that which the man of God declares here all the time No kuvuga ngo ijambo ryose wumvise ni ngombwa yuko uhita urishyira mu bikorwa I'm sure you have enough word of God in this house. You hear preaching, you do Sunday school, you do Bible study, you do everything, and the man of God still comes, preaches, and also prophesies. Whatever he says, please, I'm telling you today, that is, you must do that word. That is the key to your eye favor. Ndashaka kubabwira yuko mwumva ijambo ry'Imana ritandukanye mu ishuri ryo ku cyumweru mu buhanuzi mu kubwiriza bitandukanye ndetse ni mukozi w'Imana akababwiriza ibyo byose rero wumvisha amatwi yawe ubyubikora kugira ngo bishobore kukwigiza ku gikundiro cyawe There are some of us I know maybe you dream some of us you have vision some of us you you see I mean you see things but there are some also that you know that there is no other way that you hear God except through your pastor. What I'm telling you in summary today is that once you hear the word of God that is preached to you in this house, go and do it. That is what makes you a wise man or a wise woman. Ndabizi bamwe muri twebwe turarota abandi wenda mukagira yerekwa abandi mugahishurirwa mu bundi buryo ariko hari no wumva ijambo ry'Imana ari turutse kumushumba gusa nahandi ariko ibyo wumva byose yaba mu nzozi yaba mu yerekwa ari hose n'ujyo byumva ujyo bishyira mu bikorwa But what does it take to do the word of God Ese bisaba iki kugira ngo ukore ijambo ry'Imana cyangwa ushyire mu bikorwa ijambo ry'Imana What does it take to do the word that you hear that I'm talking about now Ese niki bigusaba kugira ngo ushyire mu bikorwa ijambo Imana iguhaye cyangwa iryo wumvise Number 1 Humility Gomba guca bugufi Humility Gomba guca bugufi When uh, all of us I'm sure we know the story of Naaman Naaman was a general and um, a small girl just told him to go to a particular place to go and see the prophet. And he got there, he did not see the prophet. But the prophet sent word to say he should go and wash in the sea, say in the water seven times. It took humility for Naaman to go and dip himself inside the dirty Jordan water seven times. But that is the secret to his healing. Ariko byatwaye guca bugufi kuri Nemani kugira ngo ashobore kugenda yibire inshuro zirindwi mu mazi ya Jordani 
kugira ngo ashobore gukira it is humiliating But that is the secret to your healing. That is the secret to the eye favor that the pastor has prophesied ahead for this month. Ariko iryo niryo banga kugikundiro imana cyangwa umushumbu umukozi w'Imana yahanuye ku buzima bwa muri uku kwezi. So humility is number 1. Number 2 is that you should do it immediately. Kandi icyakabiri nugomba kubikora wihuse ako kanya. The Bible makes us to understand that when when God told Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, he woke up the next morning. He did it immediately. Ijihe imana yabwiraga Abraham ngo agenda tange igitambo cy'umwana we, yarabyutse umunsi ukurikiyeho ahita agenda ajya kubikora. Number 3 is that you have to do it with boldness. With boldness. Ugomba kubikora ushiza manga. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. God was telling Joshua, he said, Joshua, have not I commanded you? Be strong. Be of a good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee with that soever thou goest. Komera, shiramanga, kuko imana yawe, ni imana yawe, kandiza komeza kubana nawe. You must do it with boldness and with courage. Ugomba kubikora ushizamanga, kandu vishize mungete. That is what will make you a wise man, a wise woman that is building his house on a solid ground. Nibyo biza tuma uwa umu nyabgenje uwa ka inzuye kurutare. And the next few minutes, so what happens when you do the word? John chapter 13 verse 17. John chapter 13 verse 17. If you know these things, happy are you when you do them. When you do the word, you will get happiness. Diva uzi vivinu, ese wakwishi magute, no kora ijambo, no kora no vishiramo vikorwa uzajirumone zero. When you hear the word of God and you do the word of God, it brings you happiness. Yo unvise ijambo gimana ukari kora viguhereza umune zero. Number two, it also brings you blessings. Ichaka vidi viguhereza umujisha. In James chapter 1 verse 25. Muri Yakobo igice cya mbere mu rongo wa 25. The Bible says there that but also look at into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein he be not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. Ukurichiza amatejeko yimana akayashira mubikorwa uyumono azahabga umujisha. I'm going to repeat it so that you can listen, you can follow it and listen to and understand it very, very clearly. Ajie kurisu viramo kujirangushobore kurisu vanu chirguaneza. James chapter 1 verse 25. Yakovo ijiche chambere murongo maku nyana gata. But also look at into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein. He being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Ngo ukurichiza ijamborgi imana aga komeza karikora, ijamborgi imana riza muberu mujisha, uimuna zaba umujisha. And I pray for you that you shall not be a forgetful hearer, you shall be a doer of the work, and therefore you shall be blessed in everything you do in the name of Jesus Christ. Nasenga ngo nuzizi wajirigwe ijamborgi imana, ahubgu za komeza kurijira mungete urikora, Kandi uza habgu mojisha mwizi narigia yesu. Number three is that you will get prosperity, you will get success when you do the word. 
yukoze ijambo ry'Imana yishize mu bikorwa ijambo ry'Imana ubona ubutunzi kandi ukanahirwa In Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Yosua igice cy'ambere umurongo wa 8 The Bible says this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth but ngo, thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success Ibi biri muri iki gitabo cy'amategeko nukarorere kubihamisha akanwa kawe ahubwo ubyo ubitekereza kumanywa na nijoro kugira ngo ubone gukurikiza ibyanditswemo byose niho uzahirwa mu nzira zawe ukabashishwa byose What the Bible says is saying there that it is not God that will even need to come and bless you once you do the word of God you shall make your own way prosperous and there you shall have good success. So in the recent of it, your success and your good work and your prosperity actually lies in your hands, which is doing the word of God. Muyandi magambo gutsinda kwawe cyangwa gutera imbere kwawe kuri mu biganza byawe ukora ijambo ry'Imana. I pray that the Lord will grant you the grace to do his word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us rise to our feet. Let us rise to our feet. Mureke twese duhaguruke. Because it is not just hearing. Now you have heard the word. You have done a good thing. You are a wise person. The next set is for you to be able to do the word of God. The word that you have been hearing every day. Dero wumvise ijambo ry'Imana uri umunyabwenge ugikurikiyeho no gushyira mu bikorwa ijambo ry'Imana uko wumva burimo Don't forget you have to be doing it in humility. No so please brethren let's just join me just lift up your hands and say Father grant me the grace to do, the, to do your word. Father grant me the grace to do your word. Usenge ubwire Imana utimereze ubuntu bwo gukora ijambo ryawe. Father grant me the grace to do your word. I'm ready. I've heard your word. I've heard the direction of your prophet. I've heard the directives every day. Yeah, I hear your word in Sunday school. I hear your word in Bible, in Bible school. I hear your word in Bible study. I've heard your word again today. Father, grant me the grace to do your word. Grant me the grace to do your word. In the exact way in which you want me to do it. Grant me the grace to do your word. Brethren, I want you to pray. Grant me humility. In order that I need to be humble. In order to do your word. Father, grant me the humility to do your work. Enable me to do it immediately. Enable me to do it promptly. Enable me to do it quickly. Father, grant me the boldness to do your work. Father, grant me the boldness to do your work. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, I pray for you. The Lord God Almighty will grant you the grace to do the word of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord God Almighty will grant you the grace to do it immediately. The Lord will grant you the grace to do it boldness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And brethren, I want you to pray another set of prayer. Just one prayer. Every blessing that comes with doing the word of God. I receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to declare it. Every blessing that comes with doing the word of God. I receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that it will bring me happiness. I will do your word so that I will have happiness. I will do your word so that I will have joy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will do your word so that I will be happy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessings also come with doing the word of God. Brethren, lift up your hand and declare. Father, I will receive blessings that come with doing your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Prosperity and success. I receive in doing your word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Healing and deliverance. I receive as I do your word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ.
In Jesus' name we are praying. Father, we want to say thank you, Lord. Father, we bless your holy name, O oh Lord. Thank you for the entrance of your word. The entrance of your word, according to the Bible, brings forth light. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, over everyone that have heard this word. This word will make impact in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you go into this new week, this word will go ahead of you to make impact. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak the word of God into your life. As you go into this week, as it has been declared that you will have eye favor, you will see eye favor in the name of Jesus Christ. You will experience eye favor in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be stranded in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help will be available for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Those people that you don't know, they will favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Even when your enemies take action, it will favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Even from the camp of strangers, favor will come your way in the name of Jesus Christ. When you move to the left or you move to the right, it shall be towards favor in the name of Jesus Christ. In your going out, you will find favor. In your coming in, you will find favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in whatever you lay your hands upon to do, you will find favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in wherever you go to, you will find favor in the name of Jesus Christ. The hold will favor you. The young will favor you. Men will favor you. Women will favor you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything will work out for your favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joseph said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Everything will work for your good in the name of Jesus Christ. Every action that anybody takes will work for your good in the name of Jesus Christ. As you go out into this week, you will know what to do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not be stranded. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the favor that has been declared for you this month, you will bring money out of money. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not lack anything good. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the hand of the Lord will be upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you do will please God in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of song that God wants to hear, it is the one that you will sing in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of prayer that God is waiting to listen to, that is what you will be praying in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of talk that should come out of your mouth, it is what God will be wanting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Things will work out for you for good. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. you shall be blessed in the city, you shall be blessed out of it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, so shall it be. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. pray for our pastor and the God interpreter so that may the Lord God bless them so much and our Almighty Father highly favor them because what they have told us you have to be Tuara not here and bless them where they are coming and they are going out in the name of Jesus. Let, let your favor be upon their lives and their whole family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is time for our announcements. Our usual services are as follows. Sunday services. From 8 a.m. to 8.45, it is the first service. Uh, from now forth, we are going to be having the... Uh,
God's blessing. Imana iduhumugisha. So Mido Week services. Amatera na omu chumweru. We do have hour of grace and glory from Monday to Friday. Kuva kuwa mbele kujaza kwa gata anu saa kumine vjiri kujaza saa kumine vjiri ni jicho za mojito ono dufite isa hayi chobayo. From 6 to 6.30. Kuva saa kumine vjiri kujaza saa kumine vjiri ni jicho. It is online. Ni kuri muranda si. Actually they will put on, on screen the zoom call so that you can follow every day. Kwa rewa paso wa denu uko screen za zimye. Tuesday we have digging deep, which is a Bible study. It's from 6 p.m. to 7.30. We encourage you all to attend this session because it is very good to us all. Then uh, Thursday we have Faith Clinic and the Holy Communion. Kwa kane dufite gusenga ni gaburu rijera. 6 p.m. to 7.30. Saa kumine vijiri kuja saa moya ni jitu. We also encourage you to attend this session. Tura waka ngurira na bugo kubone kamura ya matera nilu. The Lord Almighty will bless you so much. Imana ibahumu jisha. The monthly daughter of Zion Fellowship. Matera nilu yaba kubga ba Zioni. Holds this Friday from 6 p.m. Azawa kuru yuwagata anu kurichumineshe shatu. Daughters of Zion, they are there. Awa kubuga visiyo ni murahari. Okay. The theme is ravishing your husband. Ravishing your husband. Utetesha uomu gawa waitangu uomu ashaka. Amen. Amen. But single sisters, we were not forgotten. You are also invited to train on the theme on preparing to ravish your husband when you get him. Amen. Amen. Then this topic is a continuous of what we have, we have learned in our Sunday school. Of ravishing your spouse. Ye sanga nyamatiko is a komeza changwa mubgo tkwabjum visha muri Sunday school. Amen. Amen. So we reach another good moment. To jezemundi mwanya. Of welcoming our visitors. Wokwa chira awa shitsiwach. If you are here in our midst. Nimba uriha gati mumatela nilo. And it is your very first time to attend this service. Akabaru musi wa ambere waje mura ya matela nilo yacho. We encourage you to raise up your hand. Waza mura ukuboko kwa tuka kwa achira. You raise up your hand, please. Amen. 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 Then we, you kindly, you can take what you have, you, you have your Bible, wa if you have something with you. And you come in front so that we can pray for you. We want to welcome you in a special way because you are very special in our midst. You are welcome in Jesus' name. You are welcome in We really love you so much. And we encourage you to be coming. After a prayer, you, you follow our sister until you right hand side. And we will explain to you everything which we, we have not said here.
Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, brethren. Please kindly go with our sister. She's going to uh, welcome you better. You have opportunity to. Let's appreciate Jesus if you're clapping for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Are we blessed today? Yes. I am blessed. I don't know about Thank you. Thank God for the word that came. When you do the word of God, you are what? Happy? Yes? You receive happiness. You, you, are, you live in joy. I pray that as we honor God's word, we will continue to enjoy his presence and we will be happy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. One of his words as he declares to us this month. Let me tell you. Do you want to know? He declared to us in, in the book of Psalm 5 verse 12. Psalm 5 verse 12 What does he say? For thou Lord will do what? Bless the righteous And he said with favor Will thou compass him As with a shield this month God will compass you with favor this week God will bless you with his favor but look at that word very well he said he will bless who he will bless who the righteous as long as you stand right with God favor will surround you favor will be like a shield round about you in the name of Jesus I encourage you to stand in righteousness with God and you will find God doing his own portion Amen. Amen. Please uh, take note of Friday meeting, the, the women's meeting on Friday. It's going to be from 6 p.m. We have a session for the single sisters also. As you've heard, make sure you don't miss it. We have a session for the married. We're going to be breaking into different groups. I will pay attention to each one's need. And I know that God will meet with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet? Are you blessed today? Lift your voice and just give praise to God. Just give him praise, give him thanks. Give him glory. How do you say thank you to God for the word he has sent? He sent his word all the way. He sent words into our hearts. Go ahead and appreciate him. Appreciate him. Tell him daddy, thank you. Mana thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mana thank you for your word. Thank you for grace to be doa because that's a difference. To be the doa of this word. Every of your 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 Speak into your week. When you have favor, there is not permitted to be emptiness. And so your week must not be empty. I want you to begin to command the blessings of God into your week. Yes, you are blessed, you have favor. There must not be emptiness. What do you want God to do for you this week? It's your voice has speak into the week. 
prophesied that said, Father, this week I declare I am blessed everything I lay my hands upon shall prosper everything I declare shall be well with me and my house no evil will be concerning us this week that have the mercy of God be upon us for good yes, go ahead and speak for us if you have a, a, a trip you are going to make say Father you will bless my trip maybe there is an examination an interview or ne something I have you go ahead and speak say, Father, Father, this week I shall be prosperous in everything I do it shall be well with me it shall be well with me it shall be well with me, it shall be well with me. It shall be well with my household in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I will have this blessings. blessings. I will have this miracles. I will have this testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord God Almighty, we go in your name. We are asking that your presence continually abide with us. Lord, as we go, let your power be with us. So this week, oh God, go ahead of us. Make every crooked way straight, oh God. Father, level every mountain before everyone here in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that this week, your favor will speak for us. Your favor will speak for us. Your favor will speak for us. Whatever we speak for us, the name of Jesus shall be where we talk. 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 Shall be where we we talk. Shall be where we we Shall we share the grace in fellowship and made the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry and multiply them and they shall not be few and I will also glorify them and they shall not be small that is my portion how about you that is our portion in Jesus name surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus name Amen, Amen. give the Amen. Lord a clap of him and a shout of victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you God bless you yeah.